What's up everybody? Dropping in this morning. Really fascinating morning this morning, getting up and scrolling through Instagram, social media, uh, especially following that Bears Eagles finish last night. Um, it was just really interesting to see a lot of those reactions from fans um, after the kicker of the Bears missed that field goal. And it really just got me thinking during my workout this morning about you know how our reactions are to things like that and where you know how much emotional energy is spent on something like that and uh, don't get me wrong it's not from a sense of being passionate about our sports team or anything like that because I totally get that I get very passionate about different things and, and sports teams or whatever it is but how much emotional energy is actually spent when you know you have these personal attacks and extreme frustrations taken out when a field goal is missed when this kid is being paid to kick field goals for a living, which is totally awesome on his part. But from a fan standpoint, an outside looking in standpoint, uh, getting caught up with, you know, what, what is the importance of that for us? You know, from, from an outside source, from other things, when something goes wrong, you know, what is the importance of that? Are, are we placing our value of what's important into things that really don't matter? So it really just got me thinking this morning on on that subject. Like, are are we truly focusing our emotional energy and our and our big focus on life on these things that don't matter? If we took that emotional energy and actually put it towards something that was truly important, you know, what what would we accomplish? What would be done on a day to day basis? Um, so much of that energy is just it's interesting. You know, the reaction. And, and seeing so much frustration and hate towards something as, as simple as a missed field goal. And so in life, you know, in your own life, personal life, when something goes wrong, how are you reacting? You know, a, a great example you're seeing is, is you know, so much frustration and hate uh, from the outside on this, on this field goal kicker when if you actually look at his own very reaction to that miss – how much different it is and, and imagine exactly what he's going through, what he's feeling, the letdown, the disappointment that he has personally and his reaction is dealt with in, in much more class, in much more self-control. Uh, very interesting, um, even, even amiss, he, he comes off very uh, grateful that he even had the opportunity to kick that field goal is from my outside perceived view when I, I watch him, you know, moments after that missed field goal. And so if, if you're having a reaction, you know, or, or we as people having a reaction to these things in life that aren't even, uh, you know, such a poor reaction compared to somebody who's actually going through that heartache and heartbreak, um, you know, their reaction is dealt with so much better. So that's very interesting if you think about that, um, you know, in your own life, if you're, if you're reacting to something else, not not this field goal, not this miss, but you know, is is your reaction dealt with with self control, with with dignity and class and gratitude, um, and thankfulness? It's just very interesting um, to think about. I know that my reaction technically is a little vague. What I'm speaking about today is a little vague, but I hope that it gets your mind thinking about your own reactions in life, your own personal uh, emotional energy, and how you're how you're using it. Um, in, in life. So that's all I have today, guys. Thanks for watching.